audience welcome back to top notch online tv the ocean of knowledge you are with me teacher Thaddeus baluka the ocean of chemistry and today we are going to navigate through the deep waters of chemistry right from the upa command center as i to look at the frax process which is used in the extraction of sulfur during extraction of sulfur we have three concentric pipes of course of different uh, diameters and these uh, concentric pipes are drilled into the into the sulfur deposit so we have the outermost pipe center pipe or rather middle pipe and we have the innermost pipe so the the outermost pipe we put superheated water at 170 degrees Celsius and 10 atmosphere pressure. The role of that superheated water is to melt the sulfur. The role of the high temperature is to measure that it is it is higher than the it is the that temperature is higher than the melting point of sulfur. So, and then we are talking about it is a 10 atmosphere. So that high pressure is to that high pressure is to measure that water remains solid uh, water remains liquid even at very high temperature above eight boiling point so look at this an examiner can ask you how is water maintained in liquid state even at 170 degrees Celsius? this because of the high pressure of 10 atmospheres so the role of the superheated water is to melt the sulfur. Then we have the outermost, the innermost pipe, which contains the hot compressed air at 15 atmospheres. The role of this is to, to force the molten sulfur out. Remember, when you put the superheated water at 10 atmospheres, then now the, the, the melting point of uh, sulfur, remember, is around 113, between 113 and 119. So it melts because this is the temperature of 170. So once it melts, becomes molten, then now you 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 put hot, don't just say hot air, it's hot compressed air. So when it reaches the, the sulfur deposit, it will force the molten sulfur out, as you can be able to see, molten sulfur out through the middle pipe whereby now it is taken uh, to the collection tank so here we are going to have the molten sulfur is mixed with water and then uh, it is solidifies later a temperature of around uh, 115. so we have the ground level here we have the standard clay so that is now the summary of uh, of the extraction of sulfur you need to know that we have the the outermost pipe contains the superheated water whose role is to melt the sulfur. We have the hot compressed air uh, being forced through the, 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 the innermost pipe. The role of it is to force the molten sulfur out through the middle pipe. An examiner can even draw for you this setup. Then he tells you to show by the arrows the, the direction, the flow of the component that are passing through the pipe. You need to know that if the water is moving downward. So the arrow should be moving downward. The one for uh, hot compressed air, it is also moving downward. But the one for the middle pipe, which is now collecting the sulfur, then it is moving upward. Then uh, from there, you'll be asked questions like now, what are some of the impurities that are found in sulfur that is structured through this process? Then we have soil, sand, silica, and clay. What are the physical properties that make the extraction of sulfur through this method uh, possible? This is because sulfur has a low melting point and sulfur is insoluble. We talk about molten sulfur is insoluble in water. The density of molten sulfur is lower than that of water. Sulfur is immiscible with water, or rather sulfur does not react with water. And those are some of the properties that make the extraction of sulfur through the FARX process very possible. Until next time, Bye bye. Keep it here. Keep following the Top Notch Online TV, whereby we continue making chemistry uh, simple, making chemistry look easy, and showing you the simplest techniques, the most advanced techniques of uh, summarizing your notes.